Welcome to Mark After Dark, episode three. Woo! And it's Christmas time. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, as as it sounds so great. It's Christmas time, and it's actually sixty eight today. It's freaking awesome. By four o'clock, it said sixty eight with rain, and it's I'll the twenty third. It. I'll take it. Yeah, that's great. So we're going to talk about Christmas things, mostly songs and movies. Things. We're kind of addicted to at this point, especially 97.3, where it's all that Christmas music. And then Christmas movies on Hallmark, and I think that's it. Maybe I think Lifetime, Lifetime too. Yeah. Who watches Lifetime? I remember <laughs> growing up, Lifetime, it was always like, the channel for women. And then they changed it, because apparently men watch it now. Well, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Equal opportunity. That's just so boring, with all their stupid movies about, it's always, you know... The wife is trying to kill the husband, or she starts with the children first. Is or that whatever. really what they do? What they play? I don't watch it, but I. You I, shouldn't. I think you're... It's Lifetime, Lifetime Movie <laughs> Network. It's always like that. It's like, who the hell cares? Anywho. All right. Favorite Christmas song? Go. Um, well, the the people I like, I like Bing Crosby. You D know, he, he was a. Uh, he beat his kids or something. That's okay. Bing Crosby, good person. D. Martin, we gotta love Frank Sinatra. Um, favorite, it has to be the Christmas Canon uh, by the Trans Siberian Orchestra. Ugh. What? I don't like them. Why? I think it's lame. Okay. Uh, what was the other one I, I would listen to? It was like uh, Winter in the Night or something like that, or something like that. It said. That one. That sounds like something from Indiana Jones. No, it's from the Christmas or Trans Siberian Orchestra, but it's like the Winter something. I have what, no idea. What about yours? Anything by the Carpenters. The Carpenters Christmas album. Can you give me an example? Oh my goodness. I don't um, listen to them. I have yourself think. a merry little Christmas. Um, I've heard that version like 25 times. And her voice is the best. Well, I hate these slow Christmas songs. Like when these people like Mariah Carey sing. The only thing I like Mar Mariah Carey singing is All I Want for Christmas is You. Oh, that's everybody. But, shush. But when these people that sing like, you know, uh, what, you know, like uh, Deck the Halls or something, they have to sing it so slow. Did you ever hear that really, really, really depressing song? Yeah, well, what is it, The Shoes? Is it The Shoes to that homeless person? No, 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 this one's about... Um, the Mother Dying. No, I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. That. The one about, um, I think, Joni Mitchell. It was originally a Joni Mitchell song or something, and it's about... Skating away on a pond or something. Hmm. It's really freaking sad. I like it. The only one I've heard is about the where the mother's dying and it's uh, like Christmas shoes or something like that. Yeah, they were I'm thinking about. it's Christmas. You play all these happy songs and let's throw in a sad song. It's like well, really well for a lot of people, Christmas sucks. The only well, I don't really I don't really like it. The but. only time they play that song is on Delilah. On you love your Delilah. Well, I just like. Saying that, see, she has station identification. We don't. We're we'll still we're, we're trying we'll to figure that out. Yeah. Okay, now we'll move to movies because that's a bigger area for us to talk about. Like homework does not does not. Yeah, homework does not count. <laughs> um, you know, I watched a last year. It was, I believe, I watched a Christmas movie with Mark Paul Gosler in it just because he's still hot. <laughs> the movie was crap, but just <laughs> watching him, I mean, he still got it. God. He still has it. It's like watching the crappiest movie ever. And, oh, it's okay because he or she is hot. Why yeah, not? why not? I mean, that's, just like, that's the one redeeming quality of the movie. See, that's kind of like watch. It's like for me watching all the Fast and Furious movies. Paul Walker, the late Paul Walker. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Paul Walker, and then of course Vin Diesel. It's like yes, keep going. Oh my goodness. And now we only have Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. So that's that's a not, shame. Yeah, no, that's um. Sucks. Okay, so I think. Up there, my favorite Christmas movies would be Gremlins, Scrooge Duh with Bill Murray. Scrooge Duh. Um, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, God. What? Don't even. I love can, my Muppets. Can continue. Um, what else? I do like um, It's a Wonderful Life. I do. I love that one. It's, I think it, it is really good. It has a good message to the, it. The, the only one... Even with me being a, a horrible curmudgeon. I know. But um, the only ones I really like is It's a Wonderful Life and, of course, um, I was about to say Home Alone. I mean, I like it, but yeah. eh, eh, it's okay. Um, what was the uh, one? Oh, A Christmas Story. 
Oh I, my I, God. I have seen it so many times, but I just love watching it. And I love how TBS always does their little 24 Hours of Christmas story. And of course, my mother says, I'll watch it once, but I'm not like you and your sister who watch it the you whole just time. Just on a station and then go do things while it's playing in the background. I know, and you probably come back and it's still at that same spot. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. There's there's other ones. Um, there was a there was one that Hallmark made about some dog for Christmas uh, because of the E or something like that. I don't know. I really don't care. Um, I did see Krampus and Krampus was awesome. The ending was not a happy one, which I love movies without happy endings. Is that the horror one? Yeah. Now Krampus, awesome. who is that? Krampus is the shadow of Santa Claus. That he gets a, all the bad children um, and takes them to the underworld. So basically, you. I um, wish. I wish I could was, take my bad children. Who was the... I saw that one lady in there. Um, she was in uh, Titanic and... Um, oh, my... Uh, Kathy Bates. Wasn't she in that one? No. Oh, I thought I saw Kathy Bates in the previews. Mm -mm. That's an other old actress. You're, you're confusing your older actresses. No, but it was Kathy Bates. She was not in the movie. I know, I saw it. Swear it. Once the show's over, I'm going to show you the preview. I promise you it wasn't she was in... Her. Well, it had to be somebody. Now, my next question to you is something not Christmas related. Did you watch the new Star Wars? Not yet. What have you heard about the new Star Wars? Everybody going crazy over it. They have made, and I saw this, $250 million in a day, which is breaking box office records, I guess, because Titanic is the finally thing, okay, sunken. Okay, the thing about it is that it's such a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nostalgia. I think nostalgia is driving this movie because he will remember it from a, their childhood and then they have to see it and whether it's good or not, mm -hmm. the nostalgia factor, that's what that's why they, they keep remaking movies. It's because people think, oh my god, I remember that when I was little, I gotta watch it. And it, the movies usually, usually utter shit, but people still spend money to see it. Usually, All right, ran over. Now, it's funny because she told me, are we going to cuss during these things? And I said, yes, and you're the one doing it. Sorry, I, I, started, had, I had to. I started, I had to. you finished. Well, I mean, my opinion is, it's like the Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and the Harry Potter movies all were great. You know, I mean, not all of them, but just, you know, depending on which ones they were. Yeah. Like, it seems like when the first Lord of the Rings, which was actually The Hobbit, but they made that later, which makes no sense. Like, The Fellowship was kind of like a the pilot version telling you, like, what this is all about. Mm -hmm. And yes, at the beginning, it was like... What the hell is this? Because it makes no sense. Like, you got this person named Octagon, and then you have this person named Polygon fighting in the Octagon Wars or something. What the hell are you talking it's about? It's just like Lord of the Rings. They have all those names, those elves and, you know, dwarves and things and shit like that. But anyways, and the same thing, like, when the first Harry Potter came out, it was kind of confusing. You know, it was kind of like the plot thing, which was kind of weird because it seems like the first three Harry Potter movies were for kids, in my opinion, because it seemed like the first one was more uh, into the... because they're all kids, in a mm -hmm. way. Because I know Lego brought a lot of sets out, and no, I don't have any, and don't ask. And the second one did the same thing. The third one did. But once we go into the fourth, to the ending movies, they seem to go into adult and as, te teenager type as things. As is life, if you're actually follow, following characters from when they're children, of course the storylines will be children. As you get even older, though they even though they get into more adult situations even because the, you're an adult. Even though they do still do say bloody hell, it's like yes, my favorite line. And the same thing with Star Wars because. I mean, you know, I never watched the really, really beginning ones. The the only one I watched was like the Clone Wars to A New Hope. They've been, you know, the three we know now or whatever. Um, so I mean, like I said, because I read some reviews, the first movie when they made it, it was confusing, made no sense to anybody, and didn't bring in a lot of money. Mm -hmm. The second movie kind of was boosting it. Third, and then was that the one with the Ewoks? I think that was the one. With the Ewoks. Oh God! I think I don't like Ewoks. I, I don't I really understand it that much, but no, I don't like the Ewoks. Like I said, uh, well, personally, my fa favorite version of Star Wars is the Family Guy version. Because yeah. <laughs> instead of watching A New Hope, which is like, the movie's like, what, two and a half hours long or something like that? Family Guy condenses it into like an hour and a half. Which can be done with most movies. Yes, that like Titanic. Oh, for God's sake, do we need all this hugging? Jack, Jack, Rose! 
Jack, I will never let go. Oh, bullshit. I, I mean, uh, yes, you know, James Cameron was great in everything he did, but the whole love story was just a bunch of baloney. Oh, you. I just, I don't like it. I mean, four hours long every time. <gasps> Speaking of a holiday movie. That's a holiday movie. No, 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 I'm cutting you off. Have you ever seen Love Actually? No. You should. Do it. God, gotta, on Christmas break, do it. watch everything. Well, you have to watch this one. I People hate on that movie, but I actually like it. You hate what? That movie? People hate on it. They're like, oh, I thought said online. No, if people don't think it's a good movie, I liked it. I don't like it. I mean, I... Uh, you never seen it! I was just about to say that. I was like, I'm an asshole. I just never saw it. Mm-mm. Um, Let's see. Christmas movies. Uh, there's no Christmas TV shows, are there? Like TV shows, especially just for Christmas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simpsons Christmas? I haven't watched Simpsons. I haven't watched I Simpsons since, Simpsons. like, freaking 19... 19- 99. I love The Simpsons. God, they make me laugh. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else Christmassy. There's only there's Christmas songs, Christmas movies. What about candy or uh, cookie type things? Well, try, I make cookies every year. And and I try not make? to eat them because I don't want to eat all that sugar and nastiness, but I give them away. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you make? I make awesome stuff. Um, well, that so doesn't help. I'm, I'm going to go into it. Okay, so this year, one of the things I'm making are brownie filled, no, brownie cupcakes filled with stuff. So you get a cupcake pan, you line it, you pour a little bit of brownie batter in the bottom, and then I'm putting, this, I'm not going to say what, because it's my own creation, I'm not putting it on for everybody to, to copy. To get the secret ingredient, please call. <laughs> And put something in there. Actually, you can, you can improvise. Do whatever you want. And then pour, pour more brownie butter over top of that. Put it in the oven. And boom, you got stuffed in these brownie cupcakes. And it's going to be awesome. My mother has already made snickerdoodles, which I like. Snickerdoodles are good. I mean, I like them when they're soft, not hard. It just, just doesn't work. I don't like crunchy things. Um, she made their, uh, their popular. You get a Hershey's Kiss, but you make a peanut butter cookie and put the kiss in the middle. Yeah. You know, those things. Mm -hmm. She made her, um, uh, they're like Christmas trees. They're press cookies, Christmas trees. And then she puts the little, um, like these. Sprinkles? Not sprinkles. Sugar? um, They're like beads. Edible things. I don't know, but she's done them plain or with the beads or really anything like that. That's really the only thing she makes that's Christmassy in a way. So what did you ask for Christmas, Mark? Oh, God. What did you ask, Santi? Boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Your wish shall be granted. Yeah. That hasn't happened in, let's say, a year. Aw. Well, that's because you won't leave your house. I do leave my house. Thank mm. you for telling the people at Spreaker, <laughs> by the way, that I do not leave my house. I, mean, I know you leave your house. I'm saying, like, you need to get out there. Get into the mix. Oh, oh Christ. Get, go to a bar. I don't, Be a nice man. I'm 20. I'll soon be 21 in February. That's, I'm saying, on your birthday, you need to go out. I want a hot time. tub. I just want to go outside. That just, that, no. No. that's going to make the creeps come. No. I mean, I live in the country. Cold outside. It's snowing. And a hot tub at a cool temperature of 105, sitting there in my bath or in my hot tub, showing the world my beautiful body or whatever. Are you trying to attract people that way? Yes. Uh, if you'd and like to hit me up, please uh, follow me on <laughs> Spreaker. Uh, yeah. But it's just so nice because I did that with my ex one time. We uh, went to Ohio, uh, Hawking Hills, I believe. Okay. Uh, that's near... Uh, do they have caves there? Yeah, they do. But okay. we never went to the caves. We just stayed at the cabin for March Madness and... Romantic, passionate love. Anyways, okay. tonight's episode will be brought to you by Talk Sex with Sue Johansson. <laughs> um, and there was a hot tub there. And, of course, since it was a public hot tub, basically, I mean, there was... Oh, you have to care about this. Well, no, no, I mean, it was just one cabin. There was nobody around us. But since it was a public hot tub, they said, you know, you have to shower for spoil the dead skin cells. You know people don't do that. Well, we did just because we're safe. And that hot tub, oh, my God, it was the best. But the one that we went to in Petersburg... Since we were exploring Seneca Rocks, Dolly Sods, and all that other happy stuff, this one... How come I never met this guy? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, this hot tub had, uh, you know, the same temperature thing, but it also had, like, a light thing going on. Like, the lights would change colors or whatever. That's kind of neat. I know. It was like, you know, the water then was, like, pink, blue, and so the lights and everything. I was like, yes. I don't know why you never met the guy. Because he's discreet, in a way. Is he not out? 
Well, no, yes. No, no, well, okay, it's like yes. Okay. And, it's like yes and no. Plus, it's like thirty-three. So okay. Age ain't nothing but a number. I know. I'll try to explain it to, that to my mother because she said to me one time, "Oh, you like older guys?" It's like, yep. I'm hey, interested in older guys usually have more money. These broke ass little twenty year olds. Thank uh-huh, you. You included. <laughs> I'm not broke. I got money. Older people with bigger things like a bigger wallet or a bigger car, a bigger orgasm. <laughs> At Christmas time, we always remember. And before we go, I'd like to finish up one thing. Okay. Is there any percent or any percent? Is there any chance any of us will be getting a kiss on Christmas? I will. I won't. Kiss your cat. <laughs> yes, uh, that's legal in Marshall County, <laughs> Preston <laughs> County, West Virginia. and Boone County. Mostly West Virginia, not up north. But yes, Marshall County, it's legal. <laughs> Animals, people, brothers, sisters. If you live in Marshall County, you should know these things. And if you don't, come visit it. It's a great county. <laughs> that with, be the tagline. Filled, filled with trailer parks and a big hole in the DMV drive-thru. Want to drive kiss your through. cousin, visit Marshall County, yes. West Virginia. <laughs> or go to Preston. And uh, what was it? No, I think it was Wetzel. They said animals. Or it's Tyler County. Gosh, those. that's disgusting. I know. Anyway, what were you saying? I just said, well, anybody, you know be getting kissed under the mistletoe or anything like that. Obviously, in our house, we don't have a mistletoe. We just have a Christmas tree and all that uh, Christmas, as I would say, paraphernalia. But we don't... Are you, are you, like, dropping hints or something? Do you want someone to to do that? Well, it'd be nice, but I don't Aww. think I don't think that's going to happen. So I should kiss your cat. <clears throat> Jordan. Um, but, you know, like I said, nothing, I think, is going to ha- happen like that. But our next show, we're going to be talking, and since it'll be New Year's, and we'll be talking about all the bullshit New Year's oh, resolutions God. that we don't do. Like mine, I think, was... it's See, it's like New Year's resolutions are just like Lent. What you don't understand what Lent is, Lent's in the Catholic Church where you fast from eating a big meal or eating uh, small dinky meals for 40 days as well as you give up something. Like some people give up coke or chocolate something that actually means something to you not the yes. fight or people are like oh, i give up meat but you still eat fish well hello fish, fish is meat no it isn't yes it is no it isn't yes it no, is no it isn't it's not how is something that's living then not why a meat? then why do all these churches have fish fries on fridays and they didn't say that's meat it's all meat don't get me started on religion because That's I will lambast it right listen, now. Listen, lady, we will talk about that <laughs> in February oh when Lent goodness. begins. But I will tell you something. I mean, usually, like me, I said the one thing I tried giving up for Lent and it only lasted a week was masturbating. And that I never. Remember that. I yeah, remember that. I, 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 How I, long did you last? I, literally a week. <laughs> and I had to, like, I was cutting off my hands. I was just. And, of course, you know, two days without doing that is fine. But once it comes to a week, it's like, oh, my God. Actually, I don't think it's healthy either. No, no, no. Yeah. Not. Yes, because I read somewhere, I think it was on Uberfax. I like mm-hmm. Uberfax. They said that masturbating actually makes men, or men will not have, or, yeah. The chance is less to get prostate cancer. If yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. So it's a natural thing. It is, very. It's not a bad thing. No. Why well, do I have to confess it during church? What the fuck's with this shit? What? Like I said, don't get me started on religion. I like when we get started on a religion. Um, yeah, so yeah, those New Year's resolutions, like, I'm going to lose 30 pounds, and then you gain 30 pounds. <laughs> so, I don't know. Those New Year's resolutions, I think, are like Lent, and I think they're pointless and stupid. I think, my okay, my last year one, well, we'll talk about this next week. But, I don't even want to go, well, we'll talk well, about hold it. Hold on. My one thing is New Year's resolutions... It, they shouldn't be something like, I am going to, you know, lose 30... I mean, that sounds like great, you're going to lose 30 pounds, but I feel like it should be like a short-term goal and a long-term goal. Like, a short-term should be like, you know, spending less or something. Okay. Well, not really that. You know, losing weight or something. And yeah. the long-term could be like spending less or, you know, budgeting my money, budgeting my time, something no, like that. No, put down there's more pressure. you got two of them you got to deal with. Okay, then it you, should just... people are going to do the one, they're not going to do two. Well, okay, here's my question. When does the New Year's resolution expire? Because if it's... You're supposed to do it throughout the year, I think. I thought it was until, like, January, and then they go to February, and then it's just something else. I thought it was all year round. I never knew that. What? What? I know, we got ten minutes left. That's not like a ten big... Ten minutes? We have ten... That says ten minutes, that's nineteen minutes. On air, okay? See what that means? Ten minutes. 
19 minutes. I'll get going anyway. Okay. Well, on that note, we wish you all a good Christmas. And yes, I said Christmas, even though I might offend some people, but I really don't give a shit. Well, I'm not a butt, so happy holidays. <laughs> happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, you're leaving. Goodbye. Hey, I, yeah. I literally have to get Yes, I know. Put your chair on the I'm other side. Chair, sorry. And it's nice to know that Mark After Dark is broadcasted from my office. And no, it is not It is not 12.28 in the morning. It's actually 12.28 p.m., but this was pre-recorded. We're going to follow our secrets. No, it was pre-recorded in front of a live studio audience. I'm going to have my pot by. Actually, I don't think I'm going to have my pot by for lunch. Are you just going to keep rambling on nothing? No. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye. Well, since our guest is gone, it's time to say goodbye. And we will see you sometime next week. And I hope you enjoy this Mark After Dark Christmas special mixed with some Star Wars and some other things that have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. Goodbye. <laughs>